The following video is a project that I did for my geometry. Oh, why am I even reading? You know how to read. Read it yourself. Hi, I'm Mr. Dr. Professor Ryan Hansen, and welcome back to another episode of Man vs. Geometry. In this episode, I'm going to show you some of my favorite lines and angles in nature. Now, the cool thing about lines and angles is that they are everywhere in the world. Almost everything you see is made out of lines and angles. But what if I'm looking at a circle? Who are you? I don't know. Get, get out of here! Okay. Well, sorry about that. Now let's get going on our adventure. Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Let's get going. Alright, so, to continue our adventure, we're going to walk in this direction. So, as you can tell, there are many trees over here. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is one of my favorite angles. Alright, this one is a fierce beast called the Supplementary Angle. As you can tell, this is a straight line, and this is sticking out of it. Can you see that? Alright, well, if you measured the angles of these, and you added them up, they would equal 180 degrees. That's a lot. And... 180 degrees is a straight line. These two angles form a straight line. Not only that, but this is what they call an acute angle. That is when an angle's measure is less than 90 degrees. And this is an obtuse angle. This is a really fierce angle. It is when the measure of the angle is more than 90 degrees. But this, I, I couldn't have asked for a better specimen of that. Alright, let's keep, let's keep going. Let's see what we can find over here. Now this is what's called a right angle. As you can tell, this is sticking straight out from that. Which, and if you measure it, it is 90 degrees. There and there. As you can tell, this intersects with this tree, which forms a per perpendicular line. Now these are when they go straight across like that. And they don't, they just go straight across. And now it's time for a commercial break. Make sure you go to Biscuit Hut, the best place to get biscuits. And also, sortofweird.com, it's the best website ever. And also, the 7-Eleven Gaming, it's the best YouTube channel ever, you should totally subscribe to it. And, most importantly, the YouTube channel, Pablon 7-Eleven, you should subscribe! And now back to the show. So, now look at this tree right here, and this tree right here. As you can tell, these are what's called parallel lines. Now these are, if these trees extended forever, they would never intersect because they are going the same direction and they will never meet. Alright, now I want you to look at this stick right here. As you can tell, it's sticking out in this direction and if it were to continue endlessly, it would go that way and that way. Now look at that tree right there. As you can tell, you know, it's going up and down pretty much straight. It's a little tilted, but that doesn't matter. And if it kept going, it would never intersect with this. But they're not going in the exact same direction. This is what's called skew lines. They are going, this one's going that way, and that one's off to the side going that way. They will never intersect, yet they are not parallel. Alright, so I just happened to notice that this little flower uh, fell over right above these two lines. Now, these are some pretty cool angles. As you can tell, um, see this line is what's called the transversal and right here and right here are two lines that the transversal intersects however if you look at this and this they are both on the same side of the transversal and on the same side of the lines as you can t as you can tell above this line and above that line that means that they are corresponding angles another angle that you can see here is right here and right here or what's called same side interior. You can also notice them here and here. Basically what that means is that they're on the same side of the transversal, hence same side, and interior is in between these two, which is the interior. Now, a, no a couple more things you can see is right there and right there. It's what's called alternate exteriors, which means, I mean alternate interiors. Alternate interiors are when they are alternate of the transversal, and interiors, and they're both between these two, or in their interior. And then also we could see this, and this, or this, and this. 
which are called alternate exteriors. They're alternate because on the different sides of the transversal and they are both on the outside of these two lines. So th those are some of my favorite types of angles. Oh hey, what's this? It's an X. X marks a spot for some of my favorite angles. Now I want you to look over here. So as you can tell, this is intersecting that, which means that this side and this side share this as a common ray. These are what's called adjacent angles because they share a common ray and they are angles. And now another thing that you can notice here is what's called vertical angles. They do not share a common ray, but they have a common vertex. And they are formed by the letter X. And one is on this side and one is on that side. And the coolest part is that they are congruent. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of my lawn! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, Get back here, you hooligan! Alright, well, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Man vs. Geometry. Um, I hope that guy's still not chasing me, but, uh, he got, he, uh, my camera guy got scared right away, so I have the camera now. So, uh, oh god! Look at uh, you now! Hey, what is this? What is this thing? Hey, what is this newfangled device? Where's your off button? How do I turn it?